Welcome to the Prodigal Son Podcast. You know, this podcast comes out five days a week, Monday through Friday, uh, for an in him scripture study. We've been doing a, an in him scripture study. We've done a study in Romans, and now we're in the study in 1 Corinthians. And it's all about who we are in Jesus Christ, in him. Not not who we are in ourselves, but who we are in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. But on Sundays, we do a Sunday message. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of people don't get, get to get out and go to church anymore. It's it's changed in the last couple of years. And, and I want to make sure people get fed, get fed with the Word. I want to encourage you to listen to that Sunday podcast. It's it's a message. We do the video. There's a there's actually a video on YouTube that comes out, and we use the audio off that video for the Sunday message. So if you if you know what YouTube's all about, go to to our page on on YouTube on Sundays, and you can get it. Or no, I'm sorry, on Tuesdays it comes out on Tuesdays, but we do the audio on Sundays. So either way, you can get that message. But I want to encourage you to go to the website. It's the-prodigalson.com and download this phone app. Download this phone app and and get these messages. Go back to June the 21st of 2021 and find out what this this whole study is all about. Like I said, we spent 41 weeks in an in him scripture study. And then we spent 25 weeks in a study in Romans, and now we're on week 14. This is week 15 of of the study in 1 Corinthians. And I'm telling you, it gets richer and richer every week, stronger and stronger of finding out what God says about who we are. And we're in this study in Corinthians, and this study in Corinthians is, is really addressing some things that people struggle with. And I knew when we started this study that that it would be that way. I knew it would we were we were going to go into a couple of of, of really strong books that that address just life and and how people can get really messed up in life. So I encourage you go back to June the twenty first of two thousand twenty one and download this phone app and get the whole gist of what what that we've been doing. In the last 18, 19 months, we started this in June of 2021, and it's December. Now, I want to take this time to thank all the partners of this ministry. Partners, thank you for all you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give His Word away all over this planet free of charge. Now, if if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to give his word away all over this planet, teaching people who they are in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. Now, just I want to leave this with you today. Sunday was Christmas, and I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You know, this is something that we that we hold very high in our, our list of priorities. And that is glorifying our risen Savior. And we are celebrating. We celebrated Sunday what God had done for each and every one of us when he sent Jesus Christ down here to die on this earth for our sins. And we're celebrating his birth this week. Last Sunday, we celebrated it. And I thank God for what he has given us in that sacrifice, in this celebration that we can Forever praise him for coming and being born into this world to be our Lord and Savior. My prayers come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, a lot of people might say, you know, this becomes monotonous. You've been doing this for for years, and I have. I've been doing these Ephesians prayers for because I want the people of this world to get hold of what Paul wanted the Ephesians to get hold of, that God's for you. He loves you. And, and, and Paul prayed for the Ephesians, and I pray for the world that I live in every day of my life because I want the people to understand and realize that God's for them. Glory to God. Ephesians one fifteen says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you 
I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated Him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now He is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power, at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that I know more and more every day how much God loves me. And he, and he shows that to me through his word. Thank God for his word today. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you. God, for your word, guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can speak through, that you can shine through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Okay, we're going to jump over into the uh, seventh chapter of 1 Corinthians, and we're going to go to, to the second verse. It says, Nevertheless, avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife, and let every husband have have their her own husband. Or let every, let me back up. <laughs> it says, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own hus- husband. Now, this is a touchy scut subject once again, and I don't even like to get into it. It's just something that I'm not built to do. But I want to I want to make a statement today to you and the world: avoid worldly actions, a world avoid worldly things. You know, we've been talking about all all through the first Corinthians about all the stuff that that the Corinthians had had gotten into, and and what they were doing, and and what it had had led to, and 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 the, these these books of Corinthians, first and second Corinthians, are are a, a deep a deep study on what God wants us to see about who we are, even though we have made mistakes. After mistake, after mistake, I didn't understand that for a lot of years. And when I think about all the things that went on in my life for all those that dozen years that I was away from God, I think, my goodness, I, I mean, I didn't avoid all this worldly worldly stuff, and 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 I didn't. You know, just and I'm not talking about running around on my wife, but all the other things that I've done. Me and my wife have have been joined for 35 years, almost, and uh, we've never done that to each other. Never got in that position. But I, I want you to understand something. If you have, there's forgiveness. 
If you've made mistakes, the Lord loves you and he cares for you. These these Corinthian people were born again people, but they were in some crazy predicaments in life. But what what I want you to understand is I had a guy at the jail talk to me about something today. And I'm not going to get into what it what it was about, but he was he was part of his job and 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 he works there and and he was he said this has really bothered me and I want to talk to you about it. And I I told him what I thought and and everything, but at the in the end, after it was all said and done, I said, "Listen, I said whether you've done anything wrong or not, I said if you have done something wrong, there's forgiveness for it." And and I wanted him to know that I wanted him to know, even though we fall short and we all do, there's forgiveness if if we make a mistake, run to God, don't run from Him. First John 1 and 9 says, if we'll confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And, and that is true for every man, woman, and child here on this planet. I want you to understand that. I want you to see that. I want you to know that God loves you and he cares for you. And if you've got hung up with in fornication and, and, and made mistakes, there's, there's, there is forgiveness for it. We're going, to, we're going to jump ahead in the next few days, but I want you to get hold of what God wants you to know and understand, that there is something in this world that, that the devil don't want you to know, and that is God loves you and he cares for you. He is long-suffering when it comes to you. He wants you to get hold of what he what he once in your life, he, to, and to such a degree that everybody around you sees it. And and that's what this podcast is all about, is teaching people who they are so that they can find out who they are and stand in those truths and believe those truths and know it without a shadow of a doubt. Because God wants us to be used. He wants to use us as a tool to light this world with. How? Through him shining through us. You see, well, how is that? How is that? I've messed up so bad. And, and uh, believe me, look, there's not anybody out here in this world that hadn't made mistakes. And some of us have made big ones. But I'm going to tell you something, that, that if you will, if you will repent of what you've done and, and, and ask God to forgive you, confess them before him, he's faithful. He's just to forgive you of those sins. And he wants you to know that. That's what Satan, Satan don't want us to realize who we are. Because when we do, we're not, we're, we're in the process of realizing who we are. We're going to come to the process to realize that God's not the tyrant that religion has made him. God's not this unpleasable tyrant. That's uh, this unpleasable human. That, that religion has made him. No, he's a loving Heavenly Father that loves you and cares for you and wants to be part of your life. And when, when Paul was talking to these people about this, he said, look, he said, you know, you've made mistakes. Go back through all this study in 1 Corinthians. So, so far, it's, this is, like I say, this is 15 weeks of this, and, and it's going to continue on. And what, what I want you to gra- get a hold of and grasp is of God's long suffering, God's love and his mercy, and what Jesus Christ paid to give us. And that is assurance of who we are, assurance of what he has done in our lives. And they, I'm telling you, there's millions and millions and millions of people all over this planet that need to find out who they are because they've been defeated their entire Christian life. Why? Because of their mistakes, because of the things that they have just made mistakes and done. Everybody's done it. We've all done it. So what are we going to do about it? Or are we going to just, I'm talking about, completely give give in and let God take take care of those things? You say, what are you going to do about it? Well, you, you need to get in His Word. And you need to get 
to the place in your life that what you, what God's Word says is final authority. What He says about your mistakes, if you've confessed them, He has already been faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Believe that. Believe that. You know, uh, yes, this podcast, the, the title of it is to avoid worldly lust or worldly uh, actions. But I'm going to tell you something right now uh, that, that what this podcast is all about is you finding out that God loves you regardless of what you, the mistakes you've made. Because there's, there's hundreds of millions of people out here that have done just that, that, exactly that, got wound up in some sin that they wished they had never had. But I'm going to tell you, there's forgiveness for that. There's, there's love and mercy and grace that you will find at God's throne. What does Hebrews 4.16 say? So let me go over here and read it because I hadn't read it in a while. And by the way, yesterday I was talking about Deuteronomy 28. said I hadn't read it in years. I hadn't read it in a long time on the podcast, but I read Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 every day of my life. I read those 14 verses every day of my life. You say, why do you do that? To remind myself of what the promises that God has promised me as a child of God. But let me get back over here to to Hebrews 4.16. It says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace in a time of need. You, you, are, are, you, are you in that time of need today? Are you in a place that you really, really, Need God's grace, and you need and you need it uh, reinforced in your heart and in your life. Today's that day. We've been talking about fleeing fornication, nevertheless to avoid fornication. But I'm gonna tell you, if you if you're right smack dab in the middle of it, God loves you, and there is forgiveness for that. If you've never been born again, there's salvation out of away from that, and there is. A, a way out of that mess, and it'll all come through him, through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. There's, there's people out here in this world today that have made, have made some major mistakes, and they have messed up beyond, beyond repair as far as man's concerned. They've messed up to a place that they don't see any kind of hope for them in any way, shape, or shape, or form. But I'm going to tell you something. I want you to quit believing that lie because in Christ Jesus, there is, there is salvation, there is hope, there is strength, there is victory, and there is cleansing through Him. And that's what I want to talk to you about right now because if you've never been born again and you think, my goodness, you know, I've, I've, I've not done what I needed to do in my life, and I fell short over and over and over again, and God would never even pay attention to me because of all the things that I've done. That's a lie that de- the devil wants you to, to believe so that you can go off into a, a lost eternity without God. No, I'm going to tell you something today. God wants you to understand something, that there is salvation for you no matter what you've done. Romans 10 and 9 says, If you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says you shall be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart and into your life and save you? He, he wants to, and he will. But you got to, you got to let him. You got to let him come into your heart. Invite him in today. Confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you're away, if you've been born again and you're away from Him, I'm telling you, run for unto Him. Run to Him and confess what you've done. He is faithful and just to forgive you. Glory to God. May Jesus Christ Lord of your life today, and watch Him. Change your life forever. Now, I want to invite you. Go to our website. Download this phone app. This phone app is very important to your 
uh, you succeeding in life. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you can get all these podcasts that we've been teaching people who they are in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, on that phone app for free. It don't cost you a thing. All you got to do is download the phone app and down, download those those uh, podcasts and start listening. Go back to June the 21st of 2021, and, and I'm talking about saturate yourself with the truth about what God's Word says about you. Go to, go to our website and get this phone app. Get in contact with us. If you got a prayer request, send it to me. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God's doing in your life. I want to hear what he's what he wants to do in your life. If you want him to, if you want to see things change in your life, get in contact with me because I want to send you what God says about that prayer request. You got a prayer request? Send it to me. I'm going to send you God's word that this that God's word says about that prayer request. Glory to God. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. Like I said, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.